where I want this line to be. I don't know the exact length yet. So you can see there on the readout, it's telling me it's about 9,000, and that's that's good enough. We'll sort them that way. those lines together 
and make it clearer while you're drawing them. So just keep clicking there and drawing those lines together. You can see how much better that reads. Uh, and now I'll offset 1100 for the corridor width and then 100 mil for the next wall thickness. Okay, so that's that. Which, uh, well, again, I'll show you on the printout. You've got uh, coming from the left, 4885 is the first one. So, again, offset, 4885. Select that line, stretch it up, and I don't know how far, so I'm just going to click a point above and to then establish that length, probably can guess, offset. 2135 is the measurement of that uh, that wall. So again, now I can use fillet to join those lines together, and we've established this corner. Okay, so then the uh, the wall there actually should line up with this uh, this window. Well, close enough. If it doesn't, we can change it. But for now, that's what I'll do. So 1020 is that measurement. So again, offset. Haven't used too many commands so far. And again, offset now 100 mil to get that wall thickness. Fill it to join those, those lines together. So what is it now? Offset, fill it and trim are pretty much the only commands I've been using. And we can then come down from here Uh, firstly, by offsetting again, 1165 from this line coming up, fill it to join these two lines together. So, looking back at the printout, so I've established that wall now completely. Okay, so that's all correct. Uh, then I can draw a line from the corner on the bottom right there, straight down, fill it to join these two together, so far. You don't have a measurement for the door here, so I'm going to assume a 50 mil return. In other words, that distance from here to here. It's not as much as the wall thickness, so let's say it's 50. Maybe it's a bit more than that, maybe 80. Again, if you're not given a measurement, work it out and uh, either scale off or just use your eyes to, to work out that size. So again, offset 80 from that line and fill it. Join them together. Okay, so hopefully you can see there, I've now drawn all of the walls.
that's how you should be drawing something like this. Don't get confused by all the lines there, the floors, the furniture, uh, the bath, those things are less important than the walls. So that's, that's what you should be doing first, draw the walls. Then now I'm going to change to my floor layer and drawing some lines now, basically connecting a lot of those wall lines. that will give me the window sill. Drawing lines like that. So I'm just going to flip through all of them, see if I can find it. Ah, oh, that's actually not the one they use. That's the one they use in the long run. Okay, so I'll use this folder. I'm going to go back to that. So I'll go back to that. So uh, back to two drives, two drives, and then uh, AutoCAD Library. that will be good. Draw those things first and uh, I'm worried about the furniture or the 